Looking at the light from distant galaxies, we see that their wavelengths have been stretched due to the redshift as they are traveling away from us. This is the Doppler effect, just like an ambulance going away from us has a lower sound than it has coming towards us. And wherever we look in, an, in the night sky in the universe, the galaxies are all, pretty much all of them, are redshifted. They're all moving away from us. And this is pretty good evidence then that the universe that we observe is expanding. And if we rewind the, the clock and we rewind time, then that universe, our universe, must have started from a very, very small, highly intense, tiny place. And we call this theory the Big Bang. So the observed redshift of most galaxies provides evidence. Provides evidence, and this is most galaxies, that the universe is expanding. Just like blowing up a balloon, if you put some dots on the outside and blow the balloon up, every dot will be moving away from every other dot. And this supports the Big Bang Theory. That everything began, that the universe began from a very small initial point. And on this diagram we have time running upwards. And it starts here at the Big Bang. And as we go, as time goes on, we see that the, the galaxies move further apart. Now, it's, it's another uh, result of this theory is that at the very beginning of time, during that initial expan expansion of the universe, it must have been incredibly hot. There's so much energy of the universe packed into a small, tiny area. And so we must have had an awful lot of high energy radiation, of gamma rays being given off. Now, as the universe expands, those wavelengths themselves, due to the Doppler effect, will get stretched. And they will pass through, become X-rays, ultraviolet, they'll become visible light, infrared, they may even go further on. And we'll look at this effect in the next flashcard, which when we look up at the night sky, we actually see an awful lot of microwave radiation. Where did that come from?